Hi guys, um, it's Yasmin yeah, Rosario, but I'm gonna change my I'm gonna change my name to Gothic Queen. All right, so um, <sighs> stupid. Um, I found this book at my grandma's house. I thought I'd give you guys a little scary story thing. Um. Some scary stories, three more tales to chill your bones. <laughs> and it's different stories. So, first one I opened up to was um, The Dream. It is about. This page this page and this page and that's basically it so this is basically scary storytelling and the song is playing is from Vocaloid it's um how you speak in English so you can play from me I told my friend Wolf that this song reminds that this is her when she's playing hide and seek as a little kid she never play hide and seek with her alright so let's start I can't be it There, I think I can barely hear it. All right. Lu Lucy Morgan is an artist. She has spent a week painting in a small country town and decided that the next day she would move on. She would go to a village called Kingston. A oh, Kingston. But that night, Lucy Morgan had a strange dream. She dreamed that she was walking up a dark cave stairs. Uh, so that's this picture right here. <sighs> Staircase and entered a bedroom. It was an ordinary bedroom except for two things. The carpet was made up of large squares that looked like trap doors. And, ne and each of the windows was fastened sh shut. Crap, I don't have my glasses on, that's why. Fastened shut with a with big nails that stunk up onto the wood. In her dream, Lucy Morgan went up went to sleep in that bedroom. During the night, a woman with pale face and black eyes oh, sounds like my friend and long black black hair. Yep. Came into her room, leaned over the bed, and whispered, This is an evil place. Flee while you can. When the woman touched her arm, to hurry her along, Lucy Morgan awakened from her dream with a shriek that lay she lay awake the rest of the night trembling. In the morning, she told her landlady that she had decided not to go to, to Kingston after all. I can't tell you why, she said, but I just can't bring myself to go there. Then why don't you go to Dorset? The light landlady said, "It's a pretty town, and it's not, and it isn't too far." So Lucy Morgan, Morgan went to Dorset. Someone told her, t told her she could find a room in a house at the top of the hill, and it was a pleasant-looking house. And the landlady there, a plump, motherly woman, as was as nice as could be. Let's look at the room, she said. I think you'll like it. Okay. They walk up the dark the dark cave staircase like the one in Lucy's dream. Uh, there you go. In these old in this old house in these old houses the staircase are all the same, Lucy thought. But when the landlady opened the door, the bedroom was the the bedroom. It was the room in her dream, with the same carpet that looked like trapdoors, the same windows fastened with big nails. This is just a coincidence, Lucy told herself. How do you like it? The landlady asked. I'm not sure, Lucy said. Well, take your time, the landlady said. 
I'll bring I'll bring up on the bed staring oh wait that's good. <laughs> I'll bring up some tea while you think about it Lucy sat on <laughs> my brother walked in Lucy sat on the bed staring at the trap doors and the big nails soon there was a knock on the door I'm reading I'm almost done it's the light it's the landlady with tea she thought but it wasn't the landlady it was the woman with the pale face and black eyes and the long black hair Lucy Morgan grabbed her things and fleed are you recording the end no need to read her eyes. scary stories three And it took a total of six minutes. Wow, how short is how short is that book? It's not a book. Oh. There's just multiple short stories, Lillian. Oh. Okay, um. So I thought it would be a little longer and you know, more scary. Alright, um this is just a quote. Five nightmares. An artist painted on painted some pictures. A boy got a new pet. A girl went on vacation. Everything was normal. Then nothing was. Have you ever thought of getting your clothes and going to the bathroom and changing? No. Have you ever thought of not changing with a door open? Got this I'm gonna pause this and I'm just gonna look down until you leave. Okay, so I decided since I read this, the Five Nightmares, I believe those are about the stories that are in this category. So there was the dream. I think that was the girl who went on vacation or an artist painted an artist painted some pictures. So I'm gonna do the one. Um, the boy got a new pet, which is called Sam's new pet. It is um. Just these two pages, and that one. So I'm going to do two stories. I'm going to be doing this um, once a week. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read you guys. Scary story time. It's the new thing I'm going to do. It's getting no views. Um. Next reading. Sam stayed with his grand Sam stayed with his grandfather when his parents went to Mexico hmm. for vacation for their vacation. We are going to bring you back something nice, his mother told him. My mom brought me back this from Mexico. There was a little charm, but I think it snapped off when I was sleeping. Mother told him it would be a surprise. Before they came home, Sam's parents Sam's parents looked for something Sam would like. They all, all they could find him was a beautiful sombrero. It, co it cost too much, but that afternoon, while they were eating their lunch in a park, they decided to buy the sombrero after all. Sam's father threw what was left of their sandwich and, and a stray dog uh, <laughs> threw what's left to a sandwich their sandwich to a stray dog and they walked back to the marketplace one of the animals followed them it was a small gray creature with short hair oh it's a rat That's what it is long uh, short legs and a long tail yep a rat whenever they wherever they went it went isn't he cute? Sam's mother said. He must be one of those Mexican hairless dogs. No, lady. No. <sighs> Sam would love him. He's probably somebody's pet. Sam's father said. And yeah. My dad came in with my brother's drawer. 
and where was I? So, um, it was interrupted again. So, let's get back to the story. Where was I? Where was I? You probably washed off the smell. Oh, God. When are you going to be done with the tablet? When I'm done reading, aren't you supposed to be playing the Wii U? Goodbye now. I don't know where it is. What, the Wii U? Yes. It's in the living room. It was not in Gigi. We put in these. Uh, Sam's father said, They asked several people if they knew who, it, who its owners were, but no one did. They just smiled and shrugged their shoulders. Finally, Sam's mother said, Maybe he's just a stray. Let's take him home with us. We can give him a good home and Sam will, be, will love him. I said you. Check in Giga's room. Don't leave when I'm talking to you, dude. Um. It is against, it is against the law to take a pet across the border, but Sam's parents hid the animal in a box and no one said it. No one saw it. When they got home, they showed it to Sam. He's a pretty small dog, Sam said. He's a Mexican dog. That's fucking racist. His father said, I'm not sure what kind. I think it's called a Mexican hairless. We'll find out, but he's nice, isn't he? He's a rat. They gave the pet... They, they gave the new pet some dog food they had. Then they washed it and brushed it and combed its fur. That night, it slept on Sam's bed. When Sam awake the next morning, he saw his pet was still there. Mother, he called. The dog is cold. The animal's eyes were running. And there were... And there was something a white around this month. It's rabies. Later that morning, Sam's mother took to the veterinarian. Where did you get him? The vet asked. In Mexico, she said. We think it's, we think he's a Mexican hairless. I was going to ask you about that. He's not a hairless, the vet said. He's not even a dog. He's a stray rat. And it has rabies. The end. It's not even scary. It's just stupid. So what? A, a girl had a dream of walking up some stairs and walking into a room, and a pale lady with white, with black eyes and black hair came in, telling her it's an evil place. Then you know when she wakes up, it comes true. So what? So that's scary. And then a two parents are so stupid they can't tell between a rat and a dog. Stupidity. Took it back. And found out that it had rabies. It's not scary, it's just stupidity. Alright, so tell me if I should continue this or you guys just want me to stop making videos at all. I feel like it's not. <laughs> What's the point? What's the point of getting up every morning? My friend asked me, What's the point of life? I said, So we can die. That's the point of life to live and then die. You can die young. You can die after you're born. You can die old. It's just to die. So, yeah. That's the point of life, motherfuckers. Just to fucking die. So what's the point of living if you're just going to be hated? And my friend would say you're getting all edgy now. Shut up. So, bye you guys. It's probably my last video. Maybe next time I'll do some creepy pasta story time. I don't know. Depending if I feel like I should do more. Alright. Bye guys, this is Gothic Queen. I'm changing the name. Gothic Queen. Bye. Stay spooky.